Police are looking for a suspect who attacked a woman on her run earlier this week. This happened on the popular Swamp Rabbit Trail. And that's where we find 7 News reporter Ayla Farone keeping an eye on what's happened. So Ayla, what can the public do to help? Well, Amy, first of all, that attack happened here on the trail just behind the YMCA and police are asking anyone who may have been on this section of the trail around 2.30 on Monday who have any information that can lead them to their suspect to contact them right away. Police are also giving tips to any runners or walkers to keep them safe when they are headed out on the trail. Imagine going for a run on your favorite trail and suddenly you're attacked from behind by a man wielding a gun. It's kind of scary, shocking. As women, I think it's definitely something that we think about more. That's exactly what happened to one woman on the Swamp Rabbit Trail and now local runners are thinking twice about their safety. I just kind of pay attention. I don't run with earbuds on, so I just kind of run and I run during the day when it's light, not at dark. I never run on a greenway by myself um, just for safety reasons because you never know who's out there. Greenville police say the man hit the woman with a gun and took her phone and money. Now they're asking for help finding their suspect. She was attacked from behind by a black male um, with a red handkerchief over his uh, neck and mouth. They're also upping their patrols on the path and giving tips to keep runners safe. Run in numbers, so we'll run with a dog. Um, also, um, if you have to have earbuds in, we don't recommend them at all, but um, don't have the volume up so that you're still aware of your surroundings and you can hear things that are going on around you. They say this could happen to anyone at any time. It's like a crime of opportunity for people. Um, they hope that they can just, you know, attack and grab what they can and flee as quickly as possible. <laughs> but runners say the trail itself could be safer too. Probably more emergency stops, buttons, um, lights. I'm not sure if there's anything other than putting up videos, video cameras, but I, I'm not sure if that there's funds for that or not. Now another tip that police have for runners is that if you can't run with friends or with a dog, at least let your friends and family know where you're going on your runs and when you'll be back. I'm reporting live in Greenville, Ela Ferone, 7 News.